Welcome to Chapters of Cancers, my lovely Cancers. I'm hoping all is well with each and every one of you. I'm thanking you all for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I truly and highly appreciate it. All right, Cancerians, let's see what messages Spirit has for you today. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know for the month of October. Let's see. I call on my assigned angels and my ancestors to guide me in spirit and in truth. Anybody who is trying to block me or stop me from delivering these messages will fall down and perish. I heard, oh, yes, you will. <laughs> oh, shit. Any energies that are being sent my way <laughs> that are not my own will be returned to its rightful sender a million folds. Ashe and amen. Messages for Cancerians, please. What do you Cancerians need to know, please, Spirit, for the month of October? So we have Mirror Guardian. Take time to reflect. So some of you could be taking time to reflect. I'm getting the energy of the hermit. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo here, but I feel like Spirit wants you to take time to reflect. Look within, okay? There could be things about yourself that you want to change, or there could be things about yourself that you're not addressing. Is the energy that I'm getting here, Cancerians? It says, wise one, grow within your current situation. So again, I feel like you, I'm, again, I'm getting the energy of the two of swords. So you may be at a crossroads or you may have a decision to make. Hence the reason why spirit is wanting you to take the time to reflect. This could have something to do with like paths, okay? Because like the two of swords is giving me like paths, okay? Also the two of wands. So you could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo or a Libra. Or spirit is saying, again, you're at some form of crossroads here and you're at a stage in your life where you have a decision to make and you don't know what way or what path you are going to take. OK, but again, spirit is wanting you to be able to evolve from whatever situation you are in, because it says grow within your current situation. We have wise one. OK, but I'm getting an ancestor energy from this wise one energy. So there could be a lot of um, paranormal activities going on for you in the month of October. There could be a lot of spiritual things happening or taking place in the month of October, okay? It says direction, literally paths. Choose your path. Can't make this up. So we have direction here. Direction, guardian, choose your path. So I also feel like here, straight away, I'm getting generational energy, okay? Um, and we have Lord take charge with authority. So again, this is giving me the queen of wands, king of wands energy. So again, a fire sign here could be very significant, but I also feel like spirit wants you to step into this leadership role energy for the month of October. Okay. So again, you're being faced with a decision here. You have some form of decision. Okay. There could also be two things that you're juggling. I'm getting the two of pentacles energy. So you could also be dealing with a Capricorn doesn't have to be, but again, there's two things that you're either trying to maintain, balance, manifest, or that you are currently juggling, okay, for the month of October. Spirit wants you to make a decision. Are you going to take this path? Are you going to take that path? Or are you going to take both, okay? But with Direction Guardian coming out and Choose Your Path being here, I feel like Spirit is saying again, like, out of these paths, there's one path or there's one thing or there's one goal or there's one project that Spirit wants you to focus on, give it your all. And once you feel like you've reached a stage or a point in your life, where you are comfortable or, or you or, or where you are content, you then can move on to the next things. Again, I'm getting like you're trying to manifest. I'm also getting the magician energy. You're trying to manifest or um, juggle multiple things at once. And it's like spirit is saying, now is the time to reflect what is meaningful, what is, you know, long lasting, what is going to be beneficial for you in the end, okay? So I do feel like there will be a lot of responsibilities also um that you'll be faced with for the month of october it says pre more and talk less they treat you in ways you allow so i feel like some of you are also fed up okay of people talking down to you or people taking your kindness for weakness with that they treat you in ways you allow don't fit in stand out pre more and talk less again so i feel like there's you've had some form of epiphany that don't fit in stand out is to me is always the sun energy for me so again, like there could be like some form of epiphany or there could be some form of revelation, okay, um, or some form of insight that is coming 
out or spirit is trying to show you clues, hints, signs, synchronicities in regards to what it is that you need to do. But again, with that pre more talk less, it's like spirit wants you to move in silence. So again, I do feel like there's a lot of things that you're trying to manifest, but at the same time with this wise one energy, okay, spirit wants you to be wise about who you're confiding in be wise in regards to who you're speaking to and what you're telling people, okay? Mirror Guardian. Why is Mirror Guardian here? Four Cancerians. Mirror Guardian. Why is Mirror Guardian here? Yeah, so this is definitely your energy here. Water energy cleansing. Some of you also need to do um spiritual work, okay? Some of you need to do some form of spiritual cleanse as well. But I'm also getting divine intervention. A Scorpio here could be very significant. You could be faced with a decision with a decision whether you should take back. Somebody could be called Dylan. You could be faced with a decision in regards to a Scorpio, whether you should reconcile with a Scorpio or not. We have Backstreet Alley Cat at the back of this deck. So this could have been somebody who is very promiscuous. Or you could be reflecting about another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio individual here. You may view this person to be your twin flame with this mirror guardian energy okay this could also be an Aquarius here because I just heard water bearer so this could also be an Aquarius that you're reflecting on you're maybe reflecting whether or not you should reconcile with this person definitely we have soul ties thank you and what's the code dust yourself off and try again so yeah you're reflecting on maybe relationships that you've had in the past with individuals you could also be reflecting on a gemini virgo or a sagittarius energy here um maybe this person wants to reconcile with you okay but with this cleansing energy it's kind of giving me like an energy of like releasing getting rid of purging type of energy some of you could also be reflecting i'm definitely picking up some of you are cancers watching this but you have family members that are Cancerians, or you have family members that are water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, potentially Capricorn, who could be passing away, like, because I'm still getting the energy of a purge, like, an energy is being cleansed, and maybe because you know that somebody around you is, like, passing away is causing you to kind of, like, want to cleanse your energy, okay, um, a spirit could also be saying that a Scorpio Pisces or a Cancer and could be coming back to you. Like somebody could be losing something. Maybe somebody is homeless or somebody is, I don't know, something very tangible is being stripped from somebody. Okay. Because it's like this person is unable to maintain okay, or balance these boxes, but I'm getting that somebody, again, is in a two of swords energy, they're at a crossroad, they're stuck with this breaking news, live energy, it's like, whatever's happening is happening publicly, everybody is seeing this, okay, and it's like, this person is coming towards you, like, this person wants a reconciliation with you, or this person wants to try again with you, but at the same time, Cancerans, remember that spirit is saying that you have a path that you have to choose, you have to decide what path you're going to take, so again, like, somebody could be coming back, but it's like, this person, you and this person are clearly reflecting each other with this soul ties energy, so again, this could be a twin flame, or somebody from your past, okay, but you're both going through, like, similar things, okay, but spirit is trying to guide you through your situation, Okay, but at the same time, this person is coming to you for help. But it's like spirit is saying that you have to put yourself first. Okay, we have sister and soul ties. So for some of you, this could be a sister or a sibling who is sick, who is passing away. What's wise one for Cancerians? Yeah, it's like spirit is saying be wise because it's like grow within your current situation, Cancerians. It's like you're reflecting on what people have done to you. Okay, or you're reflecting on what you have been through. But currently, this is the four of swords. This is like four of swords, three of swords energy. This morning, I also feel like Spirit is saying in the morning, you need to um, manifest in the morning. You need to cleanse your energy every morning also. Because it's like Spirit is saying again, like, I'm getting the saying that early bird catches early birds catches the most worms. So it's like for me, I prefer manifesting in the night. But the reality is, um, I don't want to work in the night. I have to get up in the morning, do what I have to do, you know, go to work, do what I have to do in the morning. Okay. Even if I finish in the night, I don't want to start working in the night. So for some of you, this could be an energy where some of you are currently working a night shift. This could also be draining you. So it's like spirit is saying to be wise, 
okay? If you are working a night shift, um, you need to be wise because this could be affecting your health. Maybe your coworkers or people around you could be viewing you to be like, um, deceptive or they're, they're viewing you as betraying them or selling them out. So this morning, so some of you could be handing in your notice this morning or something has been revealed to you or there will be some form of revelation in the morning. Spirit could also be saying if you're crossing path in a Libra or an Aquarius this morning or whatever morning you watch this reading, if you're crossing path with a Libra or an Aquarius, be wise because this person here intends to betray you. Okay, we have flat tire. I should have cheated, which is definitely Libra energy. And then we have sister. I should have cheated. So somebody could be called Keisha Cold. I heard Keisha. I ain't never heard that name. Keisha or Asia or Aisha. And goodbye. So I don't know. For some of you, this could be a sibling that's passing away or somebody is around you is passing away or somebody around you is sick and it's causing you to like reflect on like your life. And what you want to have life that does tend to happen. Okay. Or spirit could be saying again, like you're putting yourself first and like a, a Libra feminine feels betrayed by you or a Libra feminine is trying to like sabotage you. Okay. So yeah, there could be a Libra feminine here. Definitely a Libra feminine who is a family member or a sister of yours who is um, competing with you. Okay. Or this person here is actually doing more um, damaged and good. Spirit could also be saying that you need to protect yourself from a Libra or a Leo because like the five of wands, this is competition energy, but this competition is then followed by blood being spilled, which would correlate with the energy of this four of swords. And then we have balance, okay, which again would be like Libra energy, Sagittarius energy. So Libra is definitely showing up. It's either spirit is saying that there is a Libra around you who you need to protect or there is a Libra around you who is going to be attacked by an Aries or a Leo, okay? Or this is like your energy spirit is saying that you need to protect yourself from a Leo because like a Leo wants to fuck you up one way or the other for whatever reason, let it go. This could be because you release them, they're, they're bitter. And then we have don't be fooled again, which is Leo energy. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. So that's a Leo or a Libra. There's a Leo or a Libra here that you need to be very like careful of. Okay. Direction guardian for Cancerians. Why is this energy here? Yeah. Somebody wants to fuck you up. And we did have flat tire showing up. Okay. Sister and something else. So again, like the giants, your ancestors are here protecting you. There is a more powerful force, a higher force that is protecting you. But again, this would be your energy chariot, car accident energy. So again, like somebody is trying to fuck up like your path or somebody wants you to kind of like um, lose your way or lose direction here. It says your tears have power, have a drink and then flat tire. So again, it's like, I feel like anybody who is coming against you, um, they are going to suffer the consequences for whatever they're trying to put out in the universe against you. Again, I should have cheated so definitely a Libra energy. I'm also getting that spirit is guiding you to migrate or spirit is guiding you to move away or move completely. Okay. Because we do have the passport energy here. I'm also getting that. I'm getting perfect timing energy. Yeah, we have stop. So I feel like just in time, like something stops. We have lottery, like just in time, something stops or just in time, somebody is ended. Okay. Like someone is like, someone here definitely needs to be careful. I split the deck again and then we have save for rainy days. Okay. I'm also getting for some of you, we choose your path. And then this car accident energy coming up. Spirit is saying that you need to change your route or your route. If you go this way, you normally commute this way or you normally take this to go somewhere, choose another direction. If you're used to getting the train, get the bus. Or if you're used to getting the bus, take a taxi. Like spirit wants you to change the way that you're commuting. Okay. And be wise. But I am definitely getting like a mystical energy. It's very, the energy is very subtle. So it's like, the energy is very faint. If you're not intuitive or if you're not receiving messages, you're never going to know that this shit is, is going on around you. I can't make this up. You've got the judgment at the bottom of the deck. So you do need to pay attention. Okay. Okay. 
it's very very subtle yeah we have the moon and the sun yin and yang energy cancer leo energy so i don't know whatever's hidden or whatever's going on in the background is definitely going to be revealed is going to be exposed a pisces cancer or a leo is going to be exposed one way or the other like literally i split the deck is the moon and the sun so it's like balance as above so below so i don't know cancers let's see mirror guardian why is this energy here please for cancerians okay we have the queen of wands okay why is this energy here the two of wands and the queen of cups so there, there could be a leo energy here or an aries energy here because here you are as the queen of cups so i don't know it's like a queen of wands is one a queen of wands wants to come towards you a queen of wands is making some form of decision in regards to you I oh, don't know. Some of you could be in a same-sex relationship, okay? Or for some of you, you're dealing with a fire sign individual here who is in this energy of reflecting and trying to make a decision between you and someone else. So torn in between the two because I really want to be with you. So I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, let this person go. This person is still this person is still tied to a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, individual. The Ten of Wands that they're finding it very hard to release. The Three of Cups. This could be because of fantasies. Mm, I'm hearing I wanna lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes, and I wanna. So I don't know. There's a fire sign that you're dealing with who's very promiscuous. They're still dealing with whoever this fire sign is because this Two of Wands person is looking back at this Queen of Wands like. You're what I want. You're what I'm focused on right now. Yeah, I'm in love with Cancerians, but you're what I want right now. So I don't know. Just be very careful going forward, Cancerians. Or again, as I said, there's like a queen of wands here who is questioning whoever this fire sign person is in regards to you. You're here, Cancerians, with this queen of cups energy. You're aware of what's going on or you know that this is going on here. Okay, I split the deck again, the ten of wands. So somebody here feels burdened. Somebody feels like again they have to make a they have to make a choice or a decision. What's wise one, please, for Cancerians? We have the world card in reverse. Grow within your current situation. So someone here is trying to avoid some form of ending because the world card is in reverse. Somebody is unwilling to change. Somebody is unwilling to transform. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So the tables are about to turn. You can't outsmart or outcheat destiny. Okay, um, so I don't know what this is, Cancerians. Tell me more. Why is one? Why is why is one here? We have the Two of Pentacles. So someone here is clearly nervous or again, like somebody is in a Two of Pentacles energy, like someone here is struggling or again, somebody here is nervous because they know that they try to betray you. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I also feel like Spirit is saying that some of you are finding it hard to let go of what somebody has done to you, Cancerans. The world card is here. So Spirit could also be saying that grudging or unforgiving is blocking your finances, period. We have the two of cups here, the three of swords and the six of pentacles. So I don't know. You could be upset because somebody juggled you or somebody played you. It definitely could be a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, individual. They juggled you or they hurt you and you're finding it very hard to release. But it's like spirit is saying, if you're finding it hard to release this person, what good is that doing for you? This person is still out there, you know, getting their dick or their coochie wet. They're doing what they want to do without you. You know, you're, you can't force somebody to be loyal to you. And that's just the honest truth. But some of you are finding it very hard to let go of this situation when instead you should be growing within this current situation. Yes, she was betrayed. Yes, she was hurt. You know, the truth has been revealed to you. Some of you may have found this out via a psychic. That's the energy that I'm getting. Some of you have gone to a water sign psychic. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, individual. This person is very spiritual. This person is very much tapped in, very much clued in. And whatever this person has relayed to you, it has caused you to reflect on um, what you're going to do going forward. As much as you guys are in this quiet energy, because the Queen of Cups is giving me a quiet energy. So you could be in this energy as this subtle energy. You know, you could be the person showing up in this subtle energy. Um, 
But again, the Queen of Cups is followed by the World card in reverse, which again is telling me that some of you are finding it hard to let go of what has happened. That does tend to be Cancer's energy. You know, we do tend to hold on to the past and hold on to things, but this is blocking you, Cancerians. Fair enough, you go from the Two of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles, which would be the Nine of Pentacles, but the Seven of Pentacles still speaks about a stagnant energy, working twice as hard, blood, sweat, tears. So it's like, even though your finances are growing, they are increasing, you are still in this daydreaming energy of the seven of pentacles. And again, the seven of pentacles is going back to this energy, reflecting, looking at what happened in the past. So I don't know, somebody has hurt you and you're finding it very hard to let go of this person, or this could be the energy of this person in regards to you. The two of cups, the three of swords is here, which is clearly showing me that there has been some form of infidelity, you know, cheating, betrayal, you know, third party energy here in some form of relationship. So it's like you're, you're hurt about that. Okay. You have every right to be hurt about that. But what I'm saying is don't allow this energy to consume you. Okay, um, Spirit is saying, again, if you are having financial difficulties, you will come out of that energy. But again, you need to be wise because I feel like a lot of the betrayal that you may have endured may have been self-inflicted. Now, some of you may argue with that and say, oh, how can it be self-inflicted? I have no control over what people do to me. Yes, but you do have control over what you're going to allow and tolerate. So if somebody has cheated on you and you've forgiven that person and taken back that person, when that person cheats on you again, shut your mouth, take the loss and move on. Do you get it? So it's like, I'm not excusing what you have endured but I am like gonna hold you accountable for what you are allowing I've been in situations like this myself so I'm not knocking you but what I am saying is wise one is here so spirit wants you to grow spirit doesn't want you to stay stuck in this energy of they did this to me or how could they do this to me blah 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 okay it hurts but we have to move on you can't allow this energy to consume you because again, the seven of pentacles is daydreaming energy, okay? So let's see, direction guardian, why is this energy here, please, for Cancerians? We have the page of swords. So now you have somebody here watching you, Cancerians. I feel like this is somebody who knows that they have potentially done you wrong, okay? Maybe it's this person who is in this energy of you know, finding it hard to let go. Maybe they're finding it hard to let go because you were that person that was always around. Maybe they're finding it hard to get over this because again, you were the person to always take them back. But now things are changing. Now you are, you know, choosing the right path. Now you are putting yourself first, okay? Now again, some of you clearly could have been dealing with another water sign. We've got the moon and then we've got the king of cups and then we've got the seven of swords. For some of you, cancer males who are watching this, if you're doing anything deceptive, if it's going to backfire if you're juggling anybody if you're seeing multiple people at once it's going to backfire everybody is going to know about everybody and anything you're doing behind the scenes it's going to be exposed anything you're doing the seven of swords the five of wands if you've got multiple people that you're sleeping with if you've got multiple people that you're juggling i would be careful because i see something deadly that could occur from this situation with the five of wands and the tower that's like, you don't want no smoke. I'm coming for you. If I don't catch you, I'm catching somebody else. With the five of ones to the tower, that's the energy that I'm getting. So again, to the cancer males, be careful because you could be dealing with somebody, for example, and you decide that you're going to leave this person alone. This person may not, this person may not um, accept that or this person may end up being spiteful. So it's like, you may think you're macho having multiple women or you may think that you're macho juggling multiple women but there's going to be consequences so i would be careful okay again choose your path spirit is saying you are responsible for what happens okay again we all have free will you need to be wise direction guardian spirit is trying to guide you on the right path but again i have to be honest the moon the king of cups the seven of swords if you're a cancer male watching this and you're on any fuck shit whatever you're doing it's going to be exposed again the five of wands and it's going to cause a lot of conflict around you so it maybe all fun and games doing deceptive things i'm talking to a cancer mode that's all i'm keeping it raw i'm talking to a cancer mode that that breaks into people's vehicles you better stop <laughs> i don't know who you are watching me but that's the energy that i'm picking up on if you are a cancer male and you've got connections and all sorts of links to all different type of people who you know are into backdoor deals and who can you know 
get connections because of the people that they know or get certain things done because of the people that they know. Be careful because if you are a cancer mo and you're breaking into people's vehicles or you're connected to somebody who is breaking into people's vehicles, like shit is on in this car accident energy there's blue sirens in the background which is the popo and the page of swords is known as a detective as a spy so again please just be careful okay now to the rest of you who are now you know more mature in your decisions in your thinking in the path that you're going to take there is someone here who is watching you it could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius individual we have the three of wands this could be somebody who you turn your back on i'm also getting trailing someone here is being trailed like this person could be watching your every move so just be careful yeah we have the hermit again like private detective energy like just be careful cancerans but with the hermit i'm getting a lamp post I don't know why I'm getting a lamp pose. What's the hermit? We have the wheel of fortune and then we have the lovers. So yeah, I feel like there's somebody from your past. It could be an air sign who is watching you because you are about to um, connect with somebody who you're meant to cross paths with. The wheel of fortune speaks about destiny and the lovers. So this is like power couple energy. This is like an unlimited energy in in regards to like what you can achieve, what you can what you can achieve. I was going to say achieve, but that's not even a name. So somebody could be called Angie or Angela. But again, this is like an unlimited energy. Like there's nothing too big or too small for you and this person to achieve in life. Okay, I feel like this is a union here that is ordained or the union that you are about to going is going to definitely be an ordained connection the judgment card definitely divine intervention the judgment and the nine of pentacles oh we i feel like a lot of people are going to want to be in your position cancer is that's the energy that i'm getting because in the judgment card there are multiple people from like beyond the grave who are like surrendering to like god in a sense and then this is followed by the nine of pentacles so i do feel like a lot of people are going to be speaking about you or going forward in the near future this is going to be the energy like like a lot of people are going to be speaking about you, okay, um, because you are going to be in this abundant energy, so whoever this person is that you're going to be crossing paths with confirmation, confirmation, it's like you and this person are going to like upgrade each other's life in a sense, Somebody could be called Yaya. <laughs> I split the deck. We have the King of Wands. I split the deck again. We have the Page of Cups. So there could be a fire sign, King of Wands, because this is the energy that I was getting from this Lord energy. There could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who does want to come back and reconcile with you. This could be this person from the past who put somebody over you they could have put a fire sign over you um this could have been somebody who they had connection with or i should say a history with because the queen of wands to the king of wands would be counterpart energy cancerans so maybe when you met this person they were still dealing with somebody else whether they you know revealed that to you or not only you would know okay i split the deck we have the eight of wands i split the deck again we have the seven of cups so again i feel like spirit is saying that they want you to be away or they want you to move away from anything that no longer serves you wherever there is confusion there is not god whatever situation it just doesn't have to be love you could be in a work environment it's very toxic it's very confusing move away god is not the author of confusion you could you could live in a neighborhood for example where i don't know nothing works or everything Think is always breaking down or something of that nature or you have like you know competitive people in your neighborhood spirit is saying slowly save your money or slowly work towards moving away from that company or moving away from that neighborhood wherever there is confusion again it could be a relationship someone is inconsistent someone is pulling back someone's acting funny that's confusion you need to move away the, the eight of ones the seven of cups spirit does not want you to be around anything that is going to cause confusion in your life move away spirit could also be saying that you could have multiple people now coming towards you because we did have the judgment and the nine of pentacles there could be a lot of people coming towards you but spirit wants you to use your intuition the seven of cups there's multiple different things in those cups but i guarantee you six out of those seven cups are worth nothing on nothing but trickery, on nothing but deception. So again, there's going to be a lot of people that want to return. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to be attracted to you going, going forward. There's a lot of people who are going to want to be a part of your life or wherever you are about to go in life, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to come with you, who are going to want to be in that energy with you. But again, you need to use your intuition and you need to decipher who stays 
and who goes, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. The Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? Please, in regards to Cancerans, we have the Eight of Wands. So it could be a Sagittarius, but whoever this um, fire sign feminine energy is who is showing up, again, like they're speaking about you. They're talking about you to whoever this fire sign masculine is or whoever this fire sign is. Okay, what's the Two of Wands? Four Cancerians. We have the Eight of Cups and then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. I literally heard, I don't want to be a player no more. So somebody here could definitely be called Joe, Joseph, Joey, Joel. Okay, but the Eight of Cups, again, is telling me that whoever this person is, it could be an Aries, Leo or a Pisces. They're walking away from whoever this um, a fire sign is this feminine could be a Sagittarius or an Aries or a Leo but then the eight of cups is then followed by the knight of wands in reverse which again is telling me that this person here is definitely ain't shit okay the high priestess and that is the truth when I split the deck I split the deck again in the five of cups I feel like someone here is also um scared of what it is that you know Somebody here wants you to doubt your intuition with the high priestess and the five of cups, but you could intuitively know that this person is suffering. Aries, Leo, or Pisces, they're suffering because they're dealing with somebody who, again, I don't know, maybe they're, they are the ones that's reflecting because, again, the two of ones would kind of be a reflective energy. It's also about making a decision, deciding if you're going to stay or if you're going to go. So this person is reflecting. They're moving away from whoever this fire sign person is and they're wanting to come towards you. What's the Queen of Cups for Cancerians? The Queen of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh, Shay. So like you are in this abundant energy, this happy energy. This person could be viewing you as their happiness. Maybe this person again is now doing reflecting. They're thinking, you know what? I've done a lot. I've played a lot. I've done a lot of shit. Um, and now I want to come towards you. I do feel like this person here could also be going to somebody, okay? Aries, Leo, Pisces, they could be going to somebody who is also spiritual. This feminine energy could also be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, individual, who is also giving them spiritual advice and guidance, okay? Because mirror guardian, this feminine energy is looking into a mirror. So this person could definitely be a seer, a medium. This person could have the gift of scrying also, um... But whatever they're telling this person, this person is wanting to come towards you now. But again, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, you're in this abundant energy. You're very happy. Things may not be like the way that you want them to be, but you, for the most part, you're in a good energy here, Cancerians. The Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the, the Nine, I was going to say the Nine of Swords. I don't know why I'm getting that. So you could have a water sign child who is, you know, sad. So if you have a water sign child, do ch check up on that child to see if they are okay. Um, but I'm also getting here that whoever this person is that wants to come back and reconcile with you, um, I feel like you need to be careful because I feel like this is like a manipulation tactic, okay? Or if this person comes back to you, you do need to make it clear. You have to make sure that you and this person are on the same page. But this person is definitely thinking about marriage. This person is definitely thinking about marriage with you, um... And if you were dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, individual, I feel like they are constantly reminded of you. Like everything that they do, they're constantly reminded of you here. Yeah, the death, the queen of wands, the king of wands, sorry. So I do feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person wants to reconcile with you. But I feel like you're going to end the connection. You're going to end this, this connection with this person. You don't want to reconcile with them. Yeah, the ace of wands, the king of wands. This is somebody who is definitely passionate about you. This person is um, definitely attracted to you. This person wants a brand new beginning with you here. So it's totally up to you. You could be reconciling with this fire sign or potentially a water sign. It could be a Pisces here with the eight of cups. All right, let's see. Why is one? Tell me more. Why is the world card in reverse? Please, for Cancerians, we have the six of wands. Again, I feel like the reason why somebody is finding it very hard to let you go, Cancerians, is because like they're viewing you as this person in the six of wands energy. The world card in reverse, the six of wands, I'm also getting a delayed flight. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. There could be a delayed flight, okay, for you. Don't worry. Things will pickups very quickly with this six of one so maybe your flight was delayed for six hours or you're on a flight for six hours okay 
Um, but with the world card in reverse, spirit could also be saying again, like you have endured some form of betrayal. This is the energy that you're currently in right now, Cancer. And so there's something that you're finding very hard to let go of. I don't know. It could have been something that happened publicly. The world card in reverse, the six of ones in the upright, again, which both speaks about publicity, something happening worldwide. Okay. Um, but with the world card in reverse, I'm getting a fake account. So I don't know if something could have happened publicly or something could be happening worldwide, okay? Spirit could also be saying that there could be a Leo that's finding it very hard to let go of you or there is a Leo who is finding it very hard to get over something that happened worldwide. That's the energy that I'm getting. I don't know. I, this could be a sex tape. What is this? The Two of Pentacles? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, we have the two of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and then we have the ten of wands. So I don't know. A Capricorn is burdened. I don't know. A Capricorn could be burdened. The two of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, because earlier on it was the two of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. So I don't know. Maybe a Capricorn is feeling ashamed or a Capricorn is feeling burdened. Because I don't know. I I'm seeing this person like being shunned, shunned from a family setting with this 10 of pentacles. So I don't know. This could be you going to see family or this could be you going to travel to family. You could be traveling to see family here. The six of ones are 10 of pentacles. The six of ones are 10 of pentacles could be a family gathering, a social gathering here. But with the 10 of pentacles, I don't know, I'm getting deaf because the 10 of pentacles always gives me a body being moved, but a Capricorn here is nervous. Why? The judgment, like they're nervous. I don't know, a Capricorn could be nervous because of what a, a Virgo is going to say. So I don't know, this could be a family setting where like a Virgo is exposing a Capricorn. There's something that is Capricorn has done and they're nervous because they know a Virgo is going to expose them. What's the 10 of wands? Yeah, the Ace of Cups in reverse. So I don't know. Because the Ace of Cups now in reverse to the Ten of Wands is giving me a lot of crying. What is this? Yeah, it's like there's an earth sign here. Like the Virgo is being honest. I don't know what this is. So this could be like a family affair or something that's happening within a family. Like the Virgo is being honest, but like the Capricorn here is like way down. Like they're very stressed. They're crying. The Ace of Cups in reverse is like a lot of crying. I don't know. This could be a, this again, this could be a funeral and now I'm getting a headache. So my condolences to whoever this is that has passed or something here. Okay. If not, Cancerans, um, Again, it's like the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, 10-10 ten, ten is speaking about like collective energy. So again, it's like Spirit is saying that you're always helping people. You're always taking on more than what you need to. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, it's like Spirit is saying that you do have a lot. Maybe you have a lot of family members that rely on you. This could be what it is. You could have family members that rely on you or I don't know, you could be a, a parent or something of that nature where people or family members are always like... um relying on you everybody like relies on you to do everything but it's like spirit is saying there's only one you okay you're making everybody's burdens your own you're making family matters your priority and it kind of like shouldn't be in a sense okay the seven of pentacles so it's like you need to set boundaries with family members the seven of pentacles to the star card spirit could be saying that you need to practice um sun gazing or stargazing here some of you could be reflecting thinking about an aquarius or maybe some of you are thinking about the past okay or some of you are thinking when things are going to get better yeah the death card the ten of swords somebody has died someone has passed away this could be a prophecy a revelation the death card to the Ten of Swords is definitely somebody dying. You're reflecting on something here. So with the Seven of Pentacles to the Star card and family being here, this could be something that is hereditary. What's the Star card? I split the deck, the Page of Cups. I don't know. What's the Star card? Because someone is definitely passing away with that death and that Ten of Swords. We've got the Four of Wands. So again, it's like you're reflecting on something here. I don't know, Cancerans. What's the Four of Wands? I'm getting a lot of death. I don't know, like this is a fresh death. 
okay, because again, the seven of pentacles is now giving me the undertaker, the star card, the four of wands. This is like a fresh death. So I don't know. Or this could be like what you do. Maybe you work in a um, morgue or something of that nature. Okay, but with the seven of pentacles to the star card, again, it's like you're reflecting right now, okay? You're reflecting, but spirit is saying that you're going to heal and you're going to overcome this energy, okay? Um, I don't know, the four of one speaks about stability, victory, a home, a connection, a marriage. And we have seen this in the future coming up for you with the wheel of fortune and the lovers card, okay? Um, I also see some of you being blessed with a new home. What's the four of ones? We have the Seven of Swords. So there is some form of deception here. The Three of Cups in reverse, okay? What's the Three of Cups in reverse? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I don't know. Is this like an argument over assets? Okay, because whoever this group is, and then this would be this Virgo. So I don't know. This could have something to do with like family, wealth, assets, something surrounding a property also, okay? Because there's some form of deception here surrounding this home, this property, this marriage. The Three of Cups would be your energy here, Cancerians, but I'm reading it intuitively with the Three of Cups in reverse to the Eight of Pentacles. There's like been a group effort here. There could, this could be even your siblings or family members who are trying to come against you here, but like it's failed. Like something here has clearly failed. It's not working with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Magician when I split the deck and then we have the Sun card. So it's like, despite what you've endured in this family dynamic or whatever betrayal you've endured in this family, you're still going to come out to be the better one because it's like, not only are you visualizing your future and what you want for yourself, you're also manifesting it is actually going to happen for you. So I do see like, for example, if this is like a family affair and somebody has passed away, like your siblings or your family members here thought that they would have invested or gain some form of wealth from this person's death but that's not the case okay that is not the case here we have the empress and then we have the six of swords so you could be the one traveling to see family okay um i'm also getting somebody's body being shipped to another country i'm getting a lot of traveling i don't know what this is direction guardian page of swords we have the Knight of Cups. So somebody here is watching you because, again, they want to come back to you. Okay, this could potentially be a Taurus, an Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Leo here. What's the three of ones? We have the Hangman. So, again, I'm getting, like, stuck. Something is stuck or something is delayed. Someone here is being delayed. I don't know if someone here is – I don't know. Like, someone's being stuck someone's being blocked from coming towards you it's like spirit is not allowing somebody to somebody no longer has the the power or the authority to come anywhere near you because it's being blocked they can't come anywhere near you spirit will not allow it the high priestess is the truth the knight of cups to the hangman this could definitely be a pisces who's being blocked from your energy spirit doesn't want a pisces near you because the three of one speaks about forward movement traveling the hermit means that you're being watched over okay you're moving secretly you're transmuting secretly or you're commuting secretly but again like you're being enlightened whilst you choose this new path or you take this new path you're on the right path like the divine is opening up these blessings for you nothing but love this could also be you just being connected with people who are like you it doesn't even have to be a relationship this could be you being connected to your soul tribe this could be just you being connected to people again who think like you who are like you who are meant to be a part of your path Okay, but it's like you're outgrowing somebody, you're no longer naive or stu or stupid. Okay, you're outgrowing a Pisces, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Leo. Okay, and you're moving on. What's the hermit? We have the moon card. Okay, so again, the hermit, the moon card. Okay, I'm also getting here, Cancerans, again, like you moving in silence, you secretly moving away from somebody here who you know is no good for you here. Something here is being revealed, but I'm also getting that spirit is also saying, because the, the hermit, again, is deep thoughts, but again, that could also be a revelation. Whatever dreams that you're getting, you need to keep them to yourself. You could be dreaming about an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. What's the moon? The tower. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know, something, something's going on behind the scenes with something's happening to a Pisces. What's the tower? The seven of wands, like something has backfires here. I don't know, something is backfiring on a Pisces. This could be somebody from your past. What's the seven of wands? The justice. Some I don't know. This person could end up in prison. Someone here could end up in prison. I don't know. This could be like how you get away from somebody. We got the devil and then we got the five of cups. Like this could be like how you get away from this person. This could be like how somebody is blocked from your life. Like they go to prison or again, they're faced with like some form of karma here. This could also be a loss. There's like some something tangible here being taken away from somebody, a property, a business. What's the Wheel of Fortune? We have the strength card. So again, this is like how you gain back your strength, your dominance, your authority, your power. Okay. Again, you're heavily being protected here in the midst of what's going on. What's the lovers? What's the lovers? Could be marrying into wealth, the four of cups. So I feel like this is what somebody is hoping for. Somebody is hoping that you reject someone here who you're meant to be with. Okay. Again, there could be a Leo here who, who doesn't want you to, to be with anybody else. You've got a king of pentacles coming towards you like an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is so humble, so laid back. But this is somebody, again, who is very experienced, who is very mature. But I feel like a fire sign here definitely could be a Leo. They don't want you to be with this person. What's the four of cups? Because it's like, why would you be rejecting love? Why would you be rejecting this blessing? Why would you be rejecting what's ordained for you? What's the four of cups? Four Cancerians. We have the King of Swords. It's the King of Swords. The Two of Cups. What? I don't know. Maybe you're following your intuition. Maybe you know that this person who is coming back towards you or somebody who you have a chance of reconciling with is not meant to be for you. Um, Cancerans, to the masculine Cancerans watching this, you could be thinking about another Cancerian because we have the Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. The Four of Cups and the Two of Cups, which is Six of Cups energy. So I don't know. If you're a masculine cancer watching this, you could be thinking about another cancer. If you are, this person is a past life soulmate because the Four of Cups to the Two of Cups, again, which would be Six of Cups energy. I don't know. Maybe you're rejecting what's meant to be for you because, again, you're still holding on to something between you and this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual here. But again, if you're a masculine cancer and watching this again, like your soulmate or your past life soulmate or somebody who you're destined to be with in this lifetime is definitely a cancer and like yourself could also potentially be a Gemini. Okay, we have the five of swords, the devil. Yeah, it's like the devil has been defeated. If you're dealing with an Aquarius or you were dealing with an Aquarius as a feminine cancer and watching this, I feel like this person here was very dark, but I feel like this person here is also going through like some form of transformation. There could be like some form of addiction, toxicity, bad habit that this person had that they're overcoming. Okay, the five of swords to the devil, like the devil is definitely being defeated, okay? Um, and there's a chance of you and this person also reconciling also the sun card, okay? Right, let's see what else spirit wants you to know, Cancerians. Let's see. Messages for Cancerians, please. We have they doubted your gifts and turn out in jail. That's what I'm saying. So it was showing up that a Pisces or somebody may end up in jail, but they doubted your gifts is showing me that again, you're somebody who is very spiritual. You could also be this person who is showing up as this psychic medium, somebody who can scry and stuff of that nature. So someone ends up in jail, but I feel like this is protecting you, Cancerans. I get high, high, high. So this could be a drug dealer or an air sign who ends up in jail or who ends up in some form of spiritual jail or who ends up being blocked from you. But again, like that's the best thing to do. Like, or this is the best thing to happen to this person. Tell me more. It says phone facing down. And then we have job interview. So maybe some of you, again, as I said, you're tired of some form of work environment with phone facing down and job interview. Like some of you want to leave your current workplace 
Hence the reason why phone is facing down. It's like, you may feel like you just don't belong in this workplace or you no longer want to work there. If that is the case, again, like Spirit is saying, again, some of you have been holding onto this work environment for six years or more. And it's time for you to step into a new environment. So I feel like Spirit is saying, if you haven't been hearing anything back from places or jobs that you've applied for, you will, you will get something new here. Because again, we've got the two of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. It says they are using you. So your work, current workplace could be using you. Yeah, we have security. So somebody here could be like into security. Okay, I'm also hearing airport. So somebody could work at the airport. Someone here could be like an air hostess. I don't know, but some of you could definitely work in the airport. And then we have spin the block. So that's what I'm getting. I feel like, again, if you feel like you're being used, just walk away, Cancerians. If there has been like no communication between you and a person with that phone facing down energy, it could be because this person here is juggling you with somebody at work with that job interview energy. But again, it's like we've spin the block. I'm getting like a return energy. Like Spirit is basically saying like when one door closes, another one is going to open. So like keep it moving. Again, they're pulling back from you on purpose. So again, if you feel funny energy around you, God is not the author of confusion. If your co-workers are moving dumb, if people who you love are moving dumb, fuck them and move on. Life is too short to be just like, you know, in an energy of like negativity and being sad. If anything is bringing you confusion, if anything is not making you feel the best, you know, version of yourself, they got to go. They got to go. What else do Cancerians need to know, please, Spirit? It says moving too fast. And we do have this car accident energy here. This could also be why somebody ends up in prison. They may murder someone. It could be they knocked somebody over. We have cancer female. So if you're a cancer female watching this spirit is saying you could be moving too fast. It says surgery. There could be something going on with your health. Maybe some of you are wanting to get surgery and spirit is saying like, be careful. Yeah, we have sneaky link. I don't know. You could have been dealing with another Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. This person definitely could have also been a sneaky link because I was saying with that moon, king of cups, seven of swords energy, like that's like sneaky link energy, the seven of swords, the five of wands. So you could have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here and spirit is saying like slow down. You could be moving too fast with this person. Um, you could be again dealing with another cancer and then spirit could be saying you may be moving too fast to this person or maybe this person still needs to close out cycles with other um, people who they're dealing with. What else do cancerians need to know, please, spirit? Yeah, we have Libra male and cancer male. So this king of swords is a Libra male. So what I'm getting here is that if you're dealing with a Libra, this person is sneaky because the king of swords is already here. If you're dealing with a, a Libra, with a feminine or masculine energy, um, or your person is dealing with a um, Libra, there's a Libra here who is going to try and sabotage his connection. I can't make this up. We've got Libra female. We've got cancer female, cancer male, Libra male, Libra female. And I was picking up that if you're a cancer, your partner or your past life soulmate could be another cancer like yourself. And the king of swords is here. So it's like some of you are rejecting your life person to be with this Libra. But this Libra is somebody who is no good for you. Moving too fast and sneaky link. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Confirmation. Okay. Um... Clarify all these energies. Clarify cancer, female. <laughs> we have talk is cheap. So I feel like spirit is saying like, don't let any, don't let, if you're a cancer female, don't let anybody talk you out of your drawers, okay? Because people will say what they want to say to you just to get into your knickers. And we have moving too fast and sneaky link here. So I feel like spirit is saying, pay attention to what people are saying because for the month of October, people are going to be telling you what you want to hear, but talk and no action is a no-no, Okay. Cancer female, one more in cancer female, way too many. One more in cancer female, one please spirit. You're not in, you're not the person I fell in love with. So I don't know if you are dealing with an air sign and you're rejecting this person, you're recognizing that this air sign is not the person that you fell in love with. Sleep talking, somebody could be talking and they sleep exposing themselves and you're like, what the fuck? Okay, Libra Mel, Libra Mel. 
we have vulnerable. So a Libra male is feeling very vulnerable. It says ready to settle down with you. So this Libra, this Libra male, somebody here could be called Donovan. Okay, but this Libra male is feeling vulnerable right now. One more on Libra male, way too many. This is your karmic, see, karmic baby father sneak dissing and sneaky link. So this Libra male is a karmic. This could be somebody who you have a child with, or this is who somebody that you're dealing with has a child with. This person has been sneak dissing you, but they're showing up as a karmic, not you. Okay, Cancer Mel. Ooh, we, if you're a Cancer Mel, be careful who you're sleeping with. That was syphilis. Cancer Mel. We have it's a stick up. So if you're a Cancer Mel, be careful. Somebody from your past could be trying to set you up the plug. Exactly. It's, this is what I'm, this is the energy that I was getting with this Cancer Mel or Cancer Mel doing sneaky shit dealing with people who break into people's vehicles and shit be careful because someone's trying to set you up it's a stick up the plug especially where like drugs or some shit is concerned like be careful okay um i'm also getting with it's a stick up and the plug like you're very much attracted to somebody here you're like highly sexually attracted to somebody um yeah, you could be obsessed with somebody or somebody could be obsessed with you. Okay, so just be aware of that also. Libra female, why is this energy here? Okay, it says meet me at the altar and then it says Aries female. Mm. So I don't know, maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra female who is into same sex. Maybe some of you viewed this person as somebody who you were going to marry the truth shall set you free. That is the truth. I split the deck again. And then we have inside job. And then we have drive-by shooting. Lord, stay away from a Libra female. If you're a cancer male, this person is setting you up. It's a stick up. And then that's a drive-by shooting. So <clears throat> just be careful of who you're trusting around this time, Cancerans. Okay, because again, I do see that there's going to be new love, new energy, new everything coming in for you. And again, like spirit is definitely going to test you because again, it says choose a path. You have a you have a path to choose. Are you going to stay stuck in the path? Past? Are you going to stay stuck in confusion? Or are you going to put yourself and your needs first and do what makes you happy? Okay, so with that being said, Cancerings, I wish you guys all the best. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll touch base with you guys whenever I feel like. Take care, guys.